Hello everyone and welcome to the Indie Scene. My name is HJ Tenchi and today we'll be taking a first look at Gas Guzzlers by Game Buyers. Gas Guzzlers is a high octane car racing game with the added fun of, well, explosions. You may race head to head against your opponents in legitimate races, and I use the word legitimate very loosely, or take the fight to them in battle or knockout modes where you race to see who can place first while trying to destroy your oppositions with guns, weapon pickups, and traps. Gas Guzzlers has been fully released and can be purchased for the PC from www.gameempires.com for $14.99 or the deluxe bundle for $19.99 that will come with the soundtrack and a free copy for a friend. So lots of cool stuff, but how about instead of talking? Whoa, no, 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 but uh, I thought, you know what, I'll hold off on it. It has some good things, it has some bad things, and then, you know, my, my original starting. <laughs> Look at that thing. That thing's amazing looking. And also, I want to point out the graphics, too. You can actually see the shattered glass from some of my races. This game looks good. It looks good. We can also sell our cars, but I don't want to do that. Back to our Stoica. We can fully customize our car with different stickers, rims, paint. Uh, you know, I'm going to stick with mine. I kind of went for, like, the, the old Fast and the Furious look, just for the kicks and giggles. We can change our rims. You can completely design how you want it color-wise. So let's do, yeah, we can go green. You can change your license plate, the coloring, what it actually says. It, it picked H.J. Tenchi for me, which I thought was really cool. Uh, let's see what else. You can repair it fully. You can see in the top right the damage and the value it has. And my, my character doing... Really bad push-ups on the side. Sometimes he's hula hoeing a tire. Sometimes he's dancing. You know, it's all different. The different guns I have. This is actually a light rocket launcher that I just unlocked. Um, I kind of feel, you know, what, I'm gonna stick with my shotgun. I know that might be kind of blasphemy, but trust me, you'll you'll watch when this happens. And I just unlocked also this too. This is gonna go ahead and give us performance exhaust for 24.49. As you can see, my top left, the stats went up a little bit. I do want to equip some brakes. It'll actually be the lower the time on the uh, deceleration, the better. And a little bit better tires for grip. Oh, wow, we unlocked all kinds of stuff. Combo pack is going to allow us to get even more ammo. And can we do more armor? Even more armored plating. Okay, so we just did all kinds of upgrades on my actual vehicle. You can see me, I'm ranked fourth. And uh, if, just reading the names, you'll see that this game has quite a sense of humor. If, if doing push-ups and uh, hula, hoping, or hula hooping with um, tires wasn't enough to think of that in the first place. So here we are in the Fender Bender Cup still, and we can actually do a regular race, what I call my legitimate races. You can still run into each other and try and crash people, of course. Uh, this is three laps for $3,000 reward. There is no time limit. You can go up to the battle races, one of my favorites. This is going to be uh, a little bit more risk, a little more reward, so you'll all be able to make 4000 off that. Once again, three laps, no time limit. And then you have the knockout races. Now, you're going to get the most money out of this. There's more laps because every time you hit a lap, the last person will actually be exploded and eliminated, knocked out, if you will. There will be a slight time limit on this because, you know, you got to keep the action fast and furious. But the nice thing about the battle races and the knockout is that uh, not only do... Let's do a knockout. Uh, not only um, is there combat, which is darn fun. I mean, it's one of the best parts of the game. Uh, but you will also have, well, more money. So we're going to jump right into it because I've been talking more than long enough. And, okay... This game is amazing. I just want to point that out there. I always pick good games, or at least games that I hope are good, and I've been lucky so far, but once we hit the fire lane, once the fire zone is free, things are going to get hectic. So right off the bat, you're just going to be jockeying for a position. In the bottom right, you'll see my ammo at 63. You'll also see right above that the fire, which has no bar filled up in it yet, is going to be my turbo. We're also going to pick up our shields. And uh, let me know if you notice that voiceover, if it seems recognizable. There's some very fun voiceovers you can get for your car. Ooh, double damage. We're not in the fire zone quite yet, though. Green is always going to be repairs. You'll see in the bottom left in the 100%. How much health I have. Ooh, let's go to the outside. The nice thing, too, is there's multiple lanes in the game. There's not just one lane. And destroying stuff like those porta potties 
or picking up money, will actually give you bonuses. So that's really good, too. All right. So now we're in the fire zone. I can now open up on my enemies. You can also shoot backwards with this one or look backwards as well. Oh, can't see smoke. Oh, man. Down to 91%. That's not too bad, considering we are on the easy mode still. Uh, this is one of the only games I've ever really had fun with easy mode. Usually it's like, okay, this game's too easy. And although it's still quite easy, you'll be able to get into it and have fun with it. Oh, we have a oil slicks, which are going to mess up every name. Oh, come on, Paranoid. Come on, Paranoid. No, that really is his name, Paranoid. All, all the names are really fun. Ooh, there we go. And my actual guy inside, my driver, is actually animating and doing stuff. But uh, like I was saying, the, the difficulty usually on easier difficulties is like, okay, this game sucks. I don't want to play it. It's too, it's too easy. But actually, even on the easy difficulty, um, really, I think, for the most part, you just take less damage. You do more damage. Uh, the enemies won't always beeline for repairs, so you can kind of take advantage of that. Um, since I was just doing a preview, I was just kind of having fun with easy, but I'm definitely going to start kicking it up pretty soon. Uh, the campaign can be quite long. Oh, there's an enemy mine. And double damage. More money. <laughs> this is one of those games that I find that's kind of difficult to actually explain and play at the same time. Because it's so much fun. And what I want to do is actually just kind of, you know, scream and have fun and, and, and enjoy it uh, while trying to uh, win. <laughs> See? I keep getting distracted by everything that's going on. So I'm actually using my Xbox controller, uh, as always, with most... Well, I won't say as always, but as I often do with most of these games. Ooh, nice. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. And you can actually use the keyboard, too. Both control systems are pretty nice. I don't have any issues with either one. Also, I recommend... Whoop, whoop, we got mines now. The new pickup will overwrite the old one. And you see me every once in a while firing, kind of at nothing, while I'm setting down bombs. Oh! Um, the reason is that is I want to always make sure I'm not at max ammo so I can pick up the ammo and deny our opponents. I know, MLG strategies here, but... Uh, oh, almost ran over the chicken. That would have given us points. But the enemies actually can really start getting on top of you. I have played some of the harder difficulties, and if you're out there in front all the time and not making enough of a distance, they can really start whittling you down. You need to make sure you're picking up those green power-ups. Oh, that was a really bad turn. Uh, or um, staying away from the enemies. Being able to deny them ammo, deny them pickups is huge. All right, so we've lost our double damage. We're going to pick up some more ammo. You got it, Duke. I'm with you on this. All right, so, so you can see our health bars right here on our enemies, which is another cool thing. Ooh, smash kill bonuses. Going to get our nitro to get us back into the fight. So I want to make sure I'm staying in the top right. You'll see not only health bars, uh, but how much time they are compared to you. Ooh, stay above them. So Luke is out. Luke is no longer going to be in the game because when we cross the finish line, the last person was ousted or blown up in this case. So I want to make sure I stay. I want to make sure I stay ahead, but in the same extent, I can. Did he blow up? No. You can actually destroy all your enemies and end the match early, which I think is actually pretty cool. Oh, oh, oh no. That's actually really bad. That's actually really bad. Where, where's our buddy? Perinoid. Perinoid is still in the match. Wow. I got to say that I'm kind of surprised. Now, the one thing I want to do right here is not kill him. I know that sounds weird, but I want it for once. Ooh, those mines. I want to not kill him because we are actually almost in last place. And if I kill him and then go over the speed limit, or uh, not speed limit, but the uh, actual track, guess what's going to happen? I get blown up, and I don't want that. What I want to do, though, is pick up the shield. Boom, Jedi Knight, and Paranoid exploded. You'll get a nice little race result at the end, letting me know that I get 6000 bucks. Anybody else eliminated will get none. That is one of the big things about this uh, mode is that you need to make sure you place first. Whereas battle races, you can actually place first, second, or third, getting scores and ranking points for the actual tournament rankings, and then money as well. So because of our destruction, our kills, our dis uh, destroying the environments and all that stuff, we've actually got another $1,728. So 
Woot woot. Not too bad for one race, right? We've also unlocked one more track, one more rim, and one more sticker. And moved up into third instead of fourth. Ha ha ha! Don't mind if I do. Ooh. Jedi Knight and I are tied for the most kills in the league, too. And he's only four points ahead of me. You know what we're going to have to do? We're going to we're gonna have to finish that off. So we can repair our guy. Oh, no. He's actually fully repaired. Very nice. Um... See, what new rims did we get? Uh, you know what, actually? Do, do, do upgrades. No, no, wait, wait, customize, customize. Rims, what do we get? Oh, ooh. Uh, let's go. Oh, yeah, gotta go old school. Gotta go old school. All right. There we go. Let's get one more race in. And you know what? Let's do... I haven't played a snow map yet. Ooh. I like the maps. I actually have only played one map uh, twice already so far. The game actually is able to um, have a lot of different content. Because the game is fully released, compared to a lot of the games that I end up previewing, uh, you actually get plenty of content in the game. The game looks very polished. The game looks very good. Uh, there's really nothing I would say that I would want in it. You can put an arcade mode on as well, and from what I can tell, that's probably uh, changing controls. Uh, there is a slight kind of I won't say this is a simulation but it's not an arcade when it comes to controls uh, as you can see getting a uh, hit last minute can really mess up your controls and slow you down uh, there's oh well, there's a plane going over us that's awesome uh, it's something between like uh, you know uh, whoa where'd that guy go it's like a ridge racer but not quite as arcadey so you have a, it's a lot of fun to play it's good times you do need skills. As I was talking with the developers and actually mentioning to them that it would be cool to play them in multiplayer, because there are servers actually up right now. Uh, last time I checked, there was about five or six servers, and it's like three in the morning right here for Pacific Standard Time. So, I mean, I would assume there's usually probably a little more, but it is a weird time. But uh, if this is a game you guys really like, I recommend not only checking it out on GamePires.com, which I will have links for, uh, but please, 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 the best thing you guys can do for indie games uh, outside of buying the game for them is uh, please go to Steam Greenlight and give them a yes vote. It makes all the difference. Uh, a Steam Greenlight can make or break uh, a game being successful or not. Ooh, okay, drop an oil. You can see in the top my oil bonus for hitting people with it. That's what I like about the HUD is everything on it shows what you need to see. I, in the top right, I know my times, I know my opponents, my health bars. I can actually see when I hit things either in the, what I'm going to call the kill feed in the top left or also the uh, in the uh, top middle when it shows that, like, you know, little bonuses. Ooh, there's Jedi Knight. That is going to leave a mark. Also, I can change my uh, view. I don't change it a whole lot. I actually really like this kind of behind the behind the shoulder, the third person view. Okay, we're gonna drift a little bit. We're getting mauled up. Oof. Also in the top middle, as you can see right under the lap time, it's gonna show me what uh, what's coming up, what kind of turn. And that is really useful. Because some of these turns like this, if you don't pay attention to it, you're gonna screw up pretty bad. I might even choose some bubblegum. Oh yeah. Now I'm kind of sad. I completely forgot in the, in the fun of the customization uh, the different actual voices you can do. And I'm not going to spoil everything, but get to the chopper. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. <laughs> all right, we're going to take an easy run. Do do do. We have nothing really behind us. We're ahead a good couple seconds of the places behind us, but I'm not using my turbo enough, so I need to cap, need to catch up with, oh, simulation driving right there. You can't just do that if there's a turn coming up. So we passed up marijuana at least. And lubricant, get out of here, buddy. Nobody likes you. Nobody likes you, turbo out of the way. Once again, I don't want to take too much damage. Even though I'm at oh god, even though I'm at 97%, uh, you still need to make sure that you're not piling on damage because eventually it does add up. And you can see right here, I would say the, the the hardest part of the game, even on the harder difficulties, is still for me paying attention to um, the actual track 
and the enemies. I just want to I want to destroy everything. This this game is a blast when it comes to just shooting things, and I pay attention a little too much to that if I do say so myself. I'll take a little shortcut here. Ooh. Oh, come on. Hey, Duke, shut up. I'm trying. I'm trying here, kind of. Also, what's nice is on the mini map up in the top left, it'll show where wrecked cars are, so you're not gonna just run into them out of the blue. You do know that they're coming by the little X's. Okay, well, I dropped another one at least. Nice. The landmines are really annoying. They can, like, especially on a turn, if you hit one right before, like, let's say I hit that one at a really high... Sp or that one, um, they can really mess you up. Oof. Oof. Trying to kind of blind fire. Okay, so we've denied them the repair. I wouldn't get in front of me if I were you, buddy. Just saying. My gun's bigger than yours. Okay, deny him the turbo. Ooh, turbo around the corner. Ah, oh, damn it. Could not pick up the health. That's a, one of the big strategies of mine is always just try and deny him as much as you can. Uh, you'll see me firing a lot at things that, well, there's nothing there. But once again, like I said earlier, it's, it's like all about denial. Man. It's like in Mario Kart. You don't want them to get a really good power, especially if they're in the end. Whooped. So as you see everybody else finished the cross line, we're going to get another 1,748 bonus. Dang, not bad. And our car looks amazing. Come on, buddy. We can win the circuit. There he goes. Got the high five from him. And then you'll see our car race results. We've unlocked track, rim, and stickers, and we are in first place. Yes. My friends, if you're interested in supporting Gas Guzzlers and Game Pyres, please check out the information in the video description below. Also find them on Steam Greenlight and give them a vote. And for more indie preview and review goodness, check out youtube.com forward slash pixabyte, the home of everything indie. Thank you all for watching, and have a good day. All right. Now, I think we need to get, ooh, that crap bay. That crap bay. You know what? Let's see. We're going to... Yep, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, sexy. And let's see a little Th that that see radio radio announcer I know amazing.